Shibata's about to heat up the summer with his new play. It was a full house at Reggae Sumfest launch and Bounty Killer's speech was the talk of the night. This, this is The Rap. Welcome to The Rap, everyone. I'm Jamila. And I'm Lee Burns. You don't know. Keep it fireful. And soon you can keep it gaza full mm -hmm. because Vibes Cartel will be launching his clothing line this summer. Nice. So Jamila, that means it's soon or later. Bear you can start with some... Well, I don't, we, we don't wear clothes like name, but if a Gaza, we can start with some Gaza beats and them. Exactly, like, some Gaza hat, some Gaza ring. I don't know what I'm going to come up with. But me personally, like with Vibes Cartel, I'm going still in terms of he's behind mm -hmm. bars and yep. a whole lot of things have been happening. Rum, clothes, remember the shoes, the Addis from Langa time. I think he's going to drop out that. Somebody. Yeah. So I'm really like it still. But what's important mm -hmm. is that the persons that were using his name mm -hmm. to, you know, sell his products, and sell products and whatever, mm -hmm. them can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. Bare legit, them going legit. Okay. So it's cartel. It's a good look for dance hall and vibes cartel. But when, as, as I talk about a good look for dance hall, Popcorn have a performance in a England at the O2 Arena. That's excellent. One of the biggest, biggest stadiums in England. You understand me? I said them place there with Beyonce go and have concert and, and Jay-Z, them and them big star there. And the Beatles, I can't have the Beatles and everything there. And I think that is a plus for dancehall and a plus for Jamaica. Pop can big up yourself. Jamaica is doing big things. And you know, Bounty Killer, he said it because with Reggae Sunfest coming on, mm -hmm. he was embracing the fact mm -hmm. that Jamaica, Reggae, our artists mm -hmm. are doing things. So? Speaking of Bounty Killer, the rap had an exclusive at his birthday party. This is how the this is how we do it. Machine up the place any time we run to it. This is how the this is how we do it. This is how we do it. On June 10th, the music fraternity's finest were out to celebrate the Alliance boss, Bounty Killer's 43rd birthday at It's the Party at Sabina Park. Well, I don't know what Gina represents, she represents. represent. We also want to say happy earth strong to the general. We have a say up to Bounty Killer. Don't know. Okay, I don't know, it's a dance hall, general. It's Bounty Killer, good you sing. I respect you to Bounty Killer. Birthday. Happy birthday. We're there, and it's Bounty Killer. So you are going on, no respect general, you know the thing, endless so and scene. You don't know how to take time out and big up Rodney Price. Enough love, enough respect, Bounty Killer is a brother. Bounty Killer is a brother when I always have got support, when I always have got real energy. I have to big up the gun champion, Bounty Killer, me name him gun champion. The venue was packed with not only personalities from the music and media fraternities, but also a host of his loyal supporters. The Bounty Killer put up In an expression of gratitude to his fans, money was thrown out into the crowd. Bounty's newest protégés, the twins, got the crowd to join in as they wished the grung god happy birthday. After three, on the seven, happy birthday. All right, one, two, three, happy birthday! The usually serious bounty killer was all smiles as he greeted the massive crowd that came to his 43rd celebration. The stage had numerous dancers such as Shelly Belly showcasing his latest dance moves. But Dancer Ski made an unforgettable exit when he fell off the stage. Selectors and entertainers were in the mix and showed their support in performance. Performances came from Richie Stevens, Nobody can tell you what tomorrow brings. Chi -ching -ching. We are, we are, we are. the New Generation Alliance, and much more. Well, I'm so IMZ. On June 14th, Youth Music Zone, otherwise called YMZ, was launched at the Pegasus Hotel. This summer event will be headlined by international pop slash rock artist R5. And Silento. Now watch me, nay, nay. Now watch me, whip, whip. Watch me, nay, nay. 
and local acts such as voicemail. Don Andre Tom Cruise Tom Cruise I really think down Tom Cruise and Bling Dog Take the dance floor do the Yaji Bumps To all the dance about everybody above With the lack of family entertainment during the summer YMZ is here to fill that gap and it is already being dubbed the concert of the summer for family entertainment Dave Lindsay, the events organizer indicated how the concept came about It was a choice by my daughter actually She was the one that came up with the concept and I just filtered it and ran with it. He also provided some insight on what to expect from the first staging of the Youth Music Zone. The night will be packed with fun-filled events, put it like that. They'll have a chance to, um, once the gate opens, they'll have a chance to socialize, run around, have games, game arcade area, bounce about, and other stuff that kids like. R5, one of the concert's headline acts, joined in on the phone with a question and answer session on Skype. So we want to get ready and ask you some questions, but I'm going to ask the first question. What are you expecting when you come to Jamaica? Ooh, what are you expecting? Uh, I'm expecting an awesome show. Yeah. And I'm really excited to try some food, some Jamaican food. Mm -hmm. I need a Jamaican fan. As a teaser of what YMZ has to offer on July 9, invitees were entertained by performances from voicemail I know our music is about fun, energy and positivity, you know what I mean? You know, sometimes we do some grown people music, but I know for that something, you know what I mean? But the kids is who basically put voicemail on the map. So it only makes sense to continue doing music that them can relate to and move to and just have fun. And Don Andre. Um, it's an overwhelming feeling. Obviously, I'm pleased within myself to know my music is being received. Not just in the dancehall space, but a lot amongst the kids in it. So it's, it's, I feel good. iCool, one of the major sponsors, enlightened the rap on why they choose to partner with YMZ 2016. It's a definite that we are happy to come on board with for the kids something positive, something fun and cool and I cool that's all about entertainment. So on July 9th, Youth Music Zone will be loud with family excitement. We need you to leave us with our tagline for the event which is, it's a go loud. <laughs> it's a go loud. <laughs> Deburns, a lot of female artists, mm -hmm. dancehall artists, I realize are pushing the boundaries of what they wear. True, true. You know, Spice is one to always like have these funky outfits. Yeah. Another artist that I recognize is Starface. You know, she was performing that sting last year. In that gladiator costume. Ex the, the gold. The, yeah, yeah, with a bag of things here, so and, Yep, yeah. and guess what? Mm -hmm. The rap caught up with her for her to tell us a little bit about her career and how it's been moving since then. Check it out. Me, I work hard for my goal. Do it from me, art, me attack with my soul. Starface describes herself as a hardcore dancehall female artist, but indicates that despite that fact, she is also a darling who is in a class of her own. I just chat, she a chat, my have for all my man. The best thing in the whole island. She's most popular for the showdown that took place at Sting 2015, which has propelled her career to the next level. That incident, the Sting incident, trust me, it did a very, very, very good thing for me. Right now, me I get plenty tour. It opens a lot of doors for me. Because if it wasn't for Sting, me, right now, me I do 10 times what I do right now, you know? She's not just a pretty face, as when she's performing, she brings nothing but fire to the stage. But trust me, it, it let a lot of people know who is Starface. My fashion alone speaks for itself. Right now, you yeah, see the Rachel Edwards now, but when I go up on the stage, the Starface, you yeah, see my change. Right now, I'm a war face, I put her when I go up on stage. I look at vibes, I can't dance, and enough to put myself together. You know, it's something, something. She describes her music as being a mixture of hardcore and positive messages. Starface tries to maintain her focus, and despite her tough upbringing, her ambitions to achieve has led her to the music. I have a very hard life. I'm originated from West Kingston, that is Denham Town. I never grew up with any mother and a father. 
but my mother was always there for us, you know, for the family and whatever. And one point, days, one days when I eat, you know. I would look at work in a clothes store. Yeah, and the pain never work out for me. Then I go home and my cousin play a rhythm and I say, you know, my feet can ride in a rhythm. And I say, yeah, try something for me. And I say, all right. Comes about now and I'm going to put a song in, turn up the love. You can check it up on YouTube. As a new artist, she describes the industry as being cutthroat as she indicates that it's all about the money for most disc jocks. But she has not let that deter her from her musical aspirations. Since I came in the music thing, my mom used to have enough selector friends and whatever. Since I came in the music, it's like it's a money thing. You know, they don't want to play, play your, your, your song unless you pay them. If they even play it, you have to dead their pants for them, just play it and just cut it. I really have a fuck overseas about my song for me. Lady Saw has been a huge inspiration and mentor to the upcoming DJ. You know, they don't say me I follow Lady Saw already. So, I feel good when them say that. Lady Saw is a legend, so if me I follow she, a good thing for me. Lady Saw is a lady whom I love dearly. She coach me right and she tell me what I'm supposed to do for what I'm not to do, you know? Starface is all about versatility and her new single with Elephant Man, Tech Walk, is adding even more to her achievements. I just chat, she a chat, my have worth it all my man, the best thing in the whole island. Hey Jamila, me love how Starface just pick up her career and run with it since thing 2015. I mean, I have to come in all the female artists them who are create them name and are create waves and just, just are winning a dance hall, you know? I want to show you the reggae some first. I was at the Sunfest launch, which will be showing on the other side of the break, so don't move. So I can't just tell me now. You're too fast. <laughs> we'll soon go. <laughs> Welcome back to The Rap. D Burns, you remember before the break you were asking if Starface would be on Sunfest? Mm -hmm. Well, your question will be answered now. Thank Check you. out the Sunfest launch. <laughs> The motor no to tobacco when a boy cheat a pull, cheat a pull. Any boy this cheat a pull. Come me drink with some boy and drink me for beat a pull. Red one, still can me cheat a pull. On Wednesday, June fifteenth, the twenty sixteen staging of Reggae Sunfest with new owner Joe Bogdanovich was launched at Usain Bolt's Tracks and Records. It was a packed house filled with ministers, artists, and our host of media who came to experience what will be coming for this year's revamped show. To say that there is a lot of expectations with the festival. It's an understatement. We are lead. We not be fella. Since the announcement of no foreign artist and no international night, persons have been questioning if the change will be a success for the festival. I think we have a really good lineup, and I think that the production is going to be, um, you know, spending a little extra money on the production, and you know, we're going to turn this thing up, up, up. The removal of foreign acts has been getting full support from the reggae and dancehall fraternity. In the true spirit of this year, our music, our festival. I encourage you massive to understand that this festival is not just about artists, performers, and promoters, and people, but it's a celebration of our art family, our place. Otherwise, it never was us. So any international night, that night, dancehall night, wherever. I'm an international act, so I stick to international night. Zin, no, never going to show them why I'm the king of the dance hall. So. It's all about dream. Next bet set. Some fest 2016. My dream. My dream. My dream. My dream. My dream. But it was Bounty Killer who strongly expressed his feelings towards the change. Reggae Some Fest. Keeping it reggae this year. Who don't like it? Calling for America with Donald Trump. <laughs> Love. The changes that has been made is good. It's it's going back to its roots. It started off with all Jamaican artists. The festival will showcase five events between July 17 and July 23rd. Things kick off with a beach party, then blitz all white edition, sound explosion, and close off with a dance all night and a reggae night, which will see the return of Super Pac. You know, my dream for this is, is how to bring this the spirit of reggae music and the inspiration of reggae music in a festival format back to Jamaica. And that's what we're doing with Reggae Sumfest 2016. Outside of just bringing patrons to Sumfest's venue, Joe has introduced a new technology that will bring the show to the world. We're targeting 50 million people. 
you know, through you know VR 360, and you know we're doing a lot of promotions around the around the world and promoting Reggae Sunfest brand Jamaica, and you know it's the best technology there is. So I'm feeling really good about it. And all the artists are also feeling good about being a part of this year's Reggae Sunfest. It's a great feeling, and there's also a little bit more pressure. Okay, you know. You know, it's my team, so I have to add. It's some fest, in an indigenous festival, Jamaican festival. I'm Jamaican, so why not? The excitement and success of the launch is anything to go by, then this year's staging will be a winner. I have here with me Teron from Black Gold Entertainment, and he's here to talk to us about painted. Painted, a big paint party in the group the capital of casual, as he tells me. I didn't never know that. Teron, tell me about Painted. Now here's a big event. Yeah, man. Um, Painted this year is an explosion of fun. Um, this year, for Painted, you know, we're hoping that our patrons turn out in their usual numbers. Um, we What's are, your usual numbers? Well, last year we had about 6,000 patrons. You um, And we'll see how that works out this year. I'm, I'm sure it will get better. Uh, but this year, we're having 1,000 gallons of paint in our extended extreme paint zone. Wow. We're having 5,000 gallons of water and three uh, water shocks on standby. Um, so come expect to get painted. This year, we're having our pre-bottled service. Uh, so on social media, over the, the relevant uh, mediums, you can pre-order your bottles and table service. We have mm -hmm. lit bottles and table services. Um, courtesy of our title sponsor, Smirnoff, of course. This year, Smirnoff is our title sponsor. And uh, we have multiple drinks offers. Um, so you can make use of those. Teron, tell me, what are the ticket prices like for Painted? So right now you can get your tickets pre-sold for $1,300 for general and $1,500 for the drink inclusive. At the gate, the drink inclusive tickets will cost you $2,500 and general will cost you $1,500. The VIP tickets are pretty much sold out. They're at $4,000 right now. The tickets, you can get the tickets right now at Tourist Pastries, um, Royal Pharmacy in Savannah and Amar, and you can get them at Western Sports in the Grill. You can also purchase your tickets at Yard Ticket com for everybody else um, in all across the island. Thanks, Teron, so much for telling us about Painted. I'm really excited and I know our viewers are excited as well. CFW started this week and we were at the launch. Check it out. CFW is here. There's no fashion week to come. That's right. With a few years of being at the National Indoor Center, Caribbean Fashion Week has returned to the home where it originally began and a rap was invited to the 2016 media launch. Caribbean Fashion Week 2016 is back at Villa Renaya. We're thrilled, we're excited, we're looking forward to fabulous collections. You know, we've been at the Indoor Sports Center for a while and we're excited about the transition, the change. I think the fashion audience and the general public who come to Caribbean Fashion Week want to have a new experience and we're prepared to give it to them right here at Villa. It's just amazing that feeling that you get from being in nature, from being in this atmosphere. Among the attendees, sponsors, designers, past and current beauty queens and Pulse supermodels. Caribbean Fashion Week is about fashion and the beautiful models that will show up in fashion. So we're looking forward to an exceptional event. But with such a high demand for the event, can Villa Renai accommodate a large number of patrons? We feel that the venue has more than enough to offer and it has more than enough capacity. So come on out and support Caribbean Fashion Week. Don't be shy about the fact that it's at Villa. It's not going to be super small or anything like that. Come out and support it because it's going to be a fabulous event this year. Rome shared with us the theme that each night has to offer. On Friday, we have the master designers showcasing at Villa Renai fashion great models. We have Alicia and Francine heading our lineup of models. And then on Saturday, we have strong designers from the Caribbean as well, as some emerging designers. On Sunday, it's the big Prince tribute with Morris Day and the Time at the Pulse Center. And you'll see the best of the collections as well. And I think everybody is looking forward to singing along with these wonderful Prince songs. To close off the event, CFW's boss Kingsley Cooper paid tribute to the late pop star Prince, singing the hit song Purple Rain. Purple Rain.
Davide, mi dai usi a sto gioco! <ride> Well, for those of you who haven't seen Shabbat in a long while, he's ready to hit the stage again in his new play. The rap caught up with him in rehearsal. Check it out. We got new fat here in the Mr. Vanish! Mr. Vanish! I think I need to call the police. Call the what? You don't have to call the police. Yeah. Who is that? No way. Shibata and the crew are currently in rehearsals for their new summer production, Shibata Goes to School. Who have Kiebler? Me! Who has Lemon here? Me! If you want to say one lemon, me that use it as a joke. The rap was given exclusive access to take a sneak peek of this new RBT Entertainment production. No man, me hear it. Let me hear it. Lodi. The cast took a break from the rehearsal to tell us about the new play. The play is Shibada goes to school, I come to school, I come from school or something. New show named Shibada Goes to School written by Michael Hulgate, Dr. PhD coming up. After seeing their challenge of trying to figure out the name of the play, I realized that it was best to speak to writer and director Michael Holgate. The show is called Shibada Goes to School, and it's really about not just Shibada going to school, but a class of misfits, a group of people, young people in a class who all they want to do is run the teacher. And they run about five to seven teachers from the class, and the principal decided that he not take it no more. He decides that he is going to be the one to teach the class now, and so they try to run him, and the drama and the comedy that uh, comes after that is what the show is about. This class is made up of an all-star cast, which includes Bad Boy Trevor, Luke Ellington, Terry Salmon, Junior Half a Dog Williams, and of course, Shibata. Yeah. This cast with all stars. This is the all. I don't need for any of the expendables. I'm afraid I show it up to much stars. Because you said to the whole way, I said, Diva, when a Diva, Diva. You understand me? So you know, so we are not. You know, so we are not rough shot. Honestly. Shibata, so seriously, say that again, Mr. Walibar. Say, I'm going to take it to my family. Alright, you see what I'm telling you? Just say it again. No, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. What Diva and Diva what? I didn't say you, Trevor. How could I say you? I have to make sure that I'm going to be with you. Oh, that Oliver. Oh, for that. Paul who is the artistic director at Ashe, has spent all his life doing musical theatre and is now getting his feet wet in Roots Theatre. Yes, it's my first time doing a production like this, especially with a crew like this. So they're mad me, you know. But I'm actually having a lot of fun doing it. So I'm going to sit back and smile and enjoy the process all the way through. Also supporting this all-star cast is Tanya Flowers and Monique Ellis. I'm sure you're almost wondering by now, what's up with the white cream on Shibata's face? It's, I was told that him is going to an all-white party. That is why him face all white. Don't say that, Terry. <laughs> That was, that was embassy joke, don't say that. Shibata confessed that he's bleaching his skin. When asked why he's bleaching when he's already light skinned, he replied, The reason why I am bleaching because I was full of spots. Everywhere my people ask if I'm still a teen. So I decided I have to get rid of these spots because if Easter don't have me, still have spots. Something wrong with me. Tell us what bleaching does for your liver. It, it, I was told that it darkened your liver. Now if inside of me it can be dark and outside is brown, I am good with that. Shibata Goes to School opens on July 16th at the Theatre Place in New Kingston, so be sure to check it out. Avatar Special Dream Weekend 2016 is here again this year. Every year, I tell you the same thing. Bigger and better. Why? The artist lineup is crazy. Mount Killer is on Dream Life. Popcorn, Massacre, Cardi B, Internet Superstar is coming to Jamaica to host Extreme West and Wild. Kess, if you like Soka, you know who Kess is. He's going to be our artist for the Dream Juve happening on August 1st. You can't miss that one. Elephant Man, the energy god, Mr. Negril, he's hosting you. 
Hapton Special Dream Weekend is nine events over the course of five days on the Emancipation Weekend in the Grill this year. It starts on July 28th and finishes on August 1st. This year, we're doing two very special things to launch the weekend. The first thing is that we're having two launches, one in Kingston and one in Montego Bay. The Kingston launch is gonna happen simultaneously at the Appleton Uber anniversary next week Friday in the privileged parking lot New Kingston and you'll be able to get special discounts on season bands for one night only. Montego Bay we're coming at you for our big launch the big one which is a huge cooler party in Mo Bay on Sunday the 3rd of July and this is going to be a tropical beach Close by the airport. We, the Dream Team, come in, and of course, we're bringing the superstar Dream Girls. The Dream Girls for 2016 are here, and they're hot like 10 fireside. Abiton Special Dream Weekend, the best experience in Jamaica and probably the Caribbean. We'll see you there. Sunday is Father's Day, D Burns. Yes, yeah, so we have a wife for me. They're not buying you anything, are you a father? Nah. Then you're not getting anything. But here, what? The rap in celebrating Father's Day got some celebrity kids to submit some videos of themselves telling their fathers how much they love them and wishing them happy father's day so cute see ya hey i'm Najali. i'm nastasia and i love my father because he is very understanding daddy is very compassionate in that he listens to you and he gives great advice he's not only my father but he's also my best friend i really love that time. he always puts his family first and He's a, he's a great role model for exactly. his family and his colleagues, he's a great leader. Yes. He's a, he sets an example in his office and I think it's really remarkable and admirable because it inspires us to um, aspire to do the same. My father is the best father because he loves me and he always tries to make me happy and he does things that I don't think any other father does he always tries to be there when I need him even when he can't he always makes it up to me. Winford is my father and I'm here today to say happy Father's Day Winford and um, I am the son of somebody who is great I really think that Winford is a great man not just a, a journalist on TV but a great man and I am his son so there's so much that I've learned from him there's so much pride that I have been able to get um, from him so much wisdom and it's just it's too much to really to really talk about happy father's day to flex of TOK he's a great father because he always makes me laugh we always spend time together and whenever I have a sporting activity he's always there cheering me on in the front row love you daddy what can I say about my father I wouldn't be where I am today if he wasn't in my life yeah, I know I like every other father, them get on my nerves and all of these things, but through all of that, my love and care about him, I'm the one and hump to him, I just want to say, Happy Father's Day, Patrick, is it? Happy Father's Day! I love you, Daddy, with all my heart. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Winford, and, you know, yeah, Happy Father's Day, and I love you very much. That's so cute, you <laughs> They're gonna die. That's so cute. <laughs> it's cute for real, but you are daddy. Me know you're not a celebrity, but you are yeah, my celebrity. So I can link you Sunday here. Big up yourself, daddy. Me love you. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. Every daddy. But right now, we'll be having Kemar with the weekly roundup. And do it. Me nah, do it. Oh, you need to do the story, man. Please, guys, and don't let me do the story, please. Oh. Anyway, give me this. Oh. Action. 